so this morning when I made a silver video, I saw that silver at the time was up to $21.15. And then just as I headed into work, it was $21.05, a 10 cent drop. So I, I thought, all right, we're going through a pullback. Might be a good opportunity to buy before the next spike. Underestimated the markets, did I? Just looked, it's $21.38. Now I gotta ask myself the question. I know there's gonna be a pullback, however, when? What are we gonna wake up till? What are we gonna wake up to tomorrow morning as far as silver prices go? This is very interesting. This is very interesting indeed. I mean, how many folks have a thousand ounces of silver? We'll just say, we'll just round it down to twenty dollars an ounce. That's twenty thousand dollars of savings you have. Again, we know it's twenty-one. 0.38 for spot or 3.4 for spot, but I'm just rounding it down for simplicity. Wow, we got some savings, I'll tell you that. Um, even for you folks who only have 500 ounces, I'm talking about close to a what $10,000 savings account. And let's not forget, just because the spot price says, hey, it's 21. 34 an ounce, there's no way anybody can buy it for that low. So your savings account, in theory, is significantly higher than what I just mentioned. This is, this is really uh, good news. Um, every now and then we need some good news, although again, when we're buying, when we're in those years of uh, accumulating, this is not necessarily a good thing for purchasing, acquiring, accumulating, but it is, it is some positive news that, hey, we're not wasting our time, right? It is positive because of all the naysayers, and after a while, these negative comments start to really beat down upon somebody. Not me, I know what it's gonna do. I know what it's gonna do in the future. But this gives us confidence that, hey, I'm not wasting my money on silver. This is actually coming together, it's paying off. The days of $14, $15 are long behind us unless something significant happens in the economy to reverse it. I'm hearing silver is going to go up significantly higher the worse that things politically get. This COVID-19, if it gets any worse, it's going to drive up the price of silver. People are getting out of the fiat market. They really are. And I won't even call it a market at that. It's a it's a it's a it's a con game. It's a scheme. It's had a uh, conversation with somebody uh, about silver today and actually we've been working together for approximately three or four months and um, he has zero zero silver and uh, I just I kind of throw bait it's kind of like throwing bait in the water to see if anything bites I don't say anything that's gonna piss people off or offend them but I kind of you know we get into a conversation just to test the water see where they're at mentally I'll say something yeah I uh, you know just for giggles I, I went and bought some silver I'll and then just stop the cover and just stop talking see what they say what their comeback is and this guy's comeback was you know my wife was thinking about buying some gold and silver boom pull that fish in so <laughs> what I what do I mean by hook them and pull them in means talk positively he's already got a he's already being talked into buying silver at home by his wife they're 
They haven't bought even one ounce. I guess they're sitting on the fence. Should I? Could I? Where do I hold it? What do I buy? I answered all these questions this morning. And by the time our conversation was over with, he was already on uh, Jam Bullion. And I was pointing at what he could buy, should buy type of thing. Um, so he's going to go home, probably talk it over with his wife. They, you know how people are when they uh, just start getting into silver. They just, many of them just still ponder it and still do a little research. So uh, I got a feeling he's going to be buying some, some of his very first silver. He's uh, definitely into it. He's uh, definitely uh, knows that the dollar bill is the purchasing power. It's... His ability to buy products is getting weaker and silver is getting stronger and proof is in the pudding the last five months four months I'll say this to be safe on the safe side the proof is in the last four months how it just jumped right up there you can't say that about the dollar you know um, so some good news about the silver price. I'm really excited. It's good for the heart to see that we're not um, squandering our money on on silver. Because I know after a while you can you can have doubts. You can have doubts, um, especially the new stackers where they haven't had the uh, they haven't been in silver or gold for that matter long enough to see movements like this. They're new. They they've used to seeing a stagnant price of right around the uh, the $15 range. Well now many of those new stackers have purchased $14 and a half, $15, $16. And what is it now? It's 21.34 cents. Keep on stacking folks. This is not a waste of your time and it is not a waste of your money.